quick. Graph y equals 2 to the 1 half x power plus 1 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. And please press pause as needed any time during this video. First, we need to decide what the parent function is and its shape. The parent function is y equals 2 to the x. And this is the shape of the parent function, including the horizontal asymptote. We sometimes refer to this as an EG chair outline. We need to identify the parameters. These are values in the expression that affect the graph. And in this case, there are two different parameters. How do they affect the graph? Well, the plus one shifts all points up one, including the asymptote, which means it's going from the line y equals zero to the line y equals one. Also includes the end, the origin is going to be affected by that plus one. The new origin, in fact, where it's going to be at, well, this does not affect the x coordinate, so it's going to be at zero, and then everything is going up one, so zero comma one. And all points will be plotted relative to this so-called new origin. The one-half parameter is a factor in the exponent. And please recall that the coefficient is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor, which is the reciprocal of whatever k is. So in this case, we're going to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of k, which, in, which would be 2. So let's go ahead and do the 2 to the x dance. Normally we go right 0 up 1. In this case we'll also go right 0 up 1 because when we double the 0, it's still going to be 0 and going up 1 because 2 to the 0 power is 1. Again, plotting relative to this orange, orange origin. Normally we go right 1 up 2 in the 2 to the x dance. In this case, we're going to go right 2 up 2 because we have to double each x coordinate. So 2 over 2 up 2 because 2 to the first is 2. Normally go right 2 up 4. This time we're going to go right 4 up 4, doubling that 2. And right 3 up 8 is going to become right 6 up 8, doubling the 3. Going in the negative direction, normally we go to the left 1 up a half. This time we're going to go left 2 up a half, doubling the 1. Left 2 up a quarter becomes left 4 up a quarter. And left 3 up 1 eighth becomes left 6 up 1 eighth. So we connect the points and we get that easy chair look. Compare that to the parent function and you can see it is changed in the shape a little bit and the green graph has been moved up one. Let's go ahead and do the second way using a table. Here's our five points that we'll use in our normal y equals 2 to the x parent function. The one half that's inside the exponent, we need to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of a half, which is 2. So we'll start doing that. 2 times 2 is 4. And I'd like you to go ahead and pause, finish this table here on the x values. Resume when you're ready. One times two is two. Double zero is still zero. Negative two and negative four. The plus one affects the y values. We need to add one to each y value. So starting with the four, we'll add four and one and get five. So we'll plot the ordered pair 4, 5. We're going to ask you to go ahead and finish these values here, plot the points, draw the graph, and press pause to do this. Resume when you're ready. So 2 plus 1 is 3, plot 2, 3. 1 plus 1 is 2, plot 0, 2. A half plus 1 would be a half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. Uh, negative 2 up 1 and a half, and a fourth plus 4 fourths is 5 fourths, negative 4, comma, 1 and a quarter. 
We need to draw the asymptote and it seems to be flattening out here at y equals negative one. I'm sorry, equals positive one rather. So we'll draw on that horizontal boundary line and connect the points to get that easy chair look, that two to the x look. Compare it to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals two to the two x power minus five Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here's your answer in green, the graph and the table.